venture out for a celebration for the first time, not knowing what could lie ahead. Cody's with the three very talented ladies who play a big part in this film. Yes, indeed. Okay, I'll let you get to it. Please introduce yourselves to the folks at home. Okay, uh, I'm Tina Cole. I'm Tina. Stephanie Brass. Diane Cornell. Diane. Uh, Diane, let's talk about your film real quick. Uh, what was the idea? Where did this come from? Everything starts with a seed. Where, what happened? The seed was the producer and executive producer involved uh, with Debbie Vaughn and Donna Eames. Actually, had a childhood experience with a young child that was birthed, mm -hmm. and okay. a friend of theirs, and and uh, so they wanted to do something around that topic, um, you know, sort of in homage to that person that they cared about, and so we talked about it, and I came up with a storyline to write something about birth survivors, and uh, we kind of coupled that with a little bit. It has a little bit of an anti-bullying statement. It also has uh, more of a tolerance statement as well as being a love story. Awesome. That's a great message. That's a great message. And it's, I, I, I haven't seen it yet. I'm dying to see it. Uh, where can we see it? Where can I see it? Okay, well, it's gonna be, it's, it was just at the Idlewild Film Festival. Oh, okay. It's an official spot. It did well there. And it's going to be in Pasadena. And uh, we're going to be submitting it to other festivals. Sacramento. Uh, we haven't been accepted, but submitted here so you can see it in Sacramento. So. Um, you know, and it's going to be going around all over the world to festivals. So we hope that, you know, I kind of like to say it's a the little movie with the big message. Yeah. yeah. It sounds great. Right. You would just sound great. Man. <laughs> uh, okay, so I got many questions, many questions. Uh, first question, um, uh, how did you get involved with it, number one? Uh, did, did they call you, or did you hear about this? Or? I, on my fan page, uh -huh. Facebook, thank you, Facebook, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Debbie joined the Facebook page and said, I really would love Tina to do this movie. Get out, are and you serious? On so, Facebook? Yeah, and she contacted my page administrator, and said, well, yeah, let's give it to Tina. And it just, I said, yeah, I think that would really be fun. Everybody out there fired your agents. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> 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 well, actually, my mom is the executive producer. So, oh, excellent. Okay. Yeah, that was really why it was written for me to do the film. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I've been involved with it since the beginning. So. Now, how's it work, like working with your mom like that? It was. I, I've been dying to work with my mom because uh, she's just as much involved with the whole industry as I am. So I've been dying for years to do this because I know how much this is. She loves doing it just as much as I do, and like this is her dream. So it was a lot of fun working with her. Now, you were in the industry. I mean, my three sons. You were. I mean, you started when you were like this big. <laughs> Did you learn a lot talking and, and cross pollinating <laughs> together? Have you guys been discussing this? We just, it was like an instant, mm -hmm. I mean, I, you know, she's she saying my granddaughter. Yes. Yeah. It was like, you I know. You look like your family. Right? Yeah. Blonde hair. Uh, well, no, we're both yeah. Yes, it did. Yeah. We connected really well, and that was probably the best thing that could have mm -hmm. gone off with the film. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We connected really well. <laughs> yeah. Seriously, it looks like you're really, that was <laughs> Thank you. She's <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, uh, i, I got to ask you about the Gilmore Girls. Okay. Uh, you played... Uh, uh, little, little Alexis Liddell. Yeah, okay. Yes. I played her as in a flashback scene. Oh, awesome. Did mm -hmm. you get to meet mm -hmm. Lauren Graham? Mm -hmm. Did you get on the set? Mm -hmm. Did you did you have some coffee? Did you talk about yeah. her? <laughs> I didn't drink coffee at that age, but I definitely did get to meet her and Alexis. They were fabulous. I was probably like seven or eight when I did that. Really? So it's very, Amen. it's very like distant yeah. memory. <laughs> yeah, very distant. But I mean, it was fun. It was great meeting them. It's not hazy for me. I have the box set, and every once in a while I just grab a, a disc and I just watch it randomly. I'm just like, I'm just like, oh, it's, it's a great show. Well, they're two beautiful girls, girls. How could you not? Uh, there was a, a fabulous independent TV station in Alabama where I grew up, and they used to show my three sons all the time. Oh, is that right? It is. Well, it's amazing. Generation after generation became familiar with it because of all the reruns. Right. You know, and also I would have a whole new group of, of fans. Which is just crazy. Yeah. It was wonderful. Yeah, it's very nice to meet you all. Uh, the movie's called, what again? The movie's called See Me. See Me. Got a very important message. You guys are fabulous. Thank you. All right, uh, we'll stick around. We'll get a little bit more on the show coming up.